Hey my beautiful people, how's it going? As always, I hope you guys are doing fantastic. So of course you already saw the title of this video, so you know that this is going to be kind of a get ready with me. Um, it's not going to be like an in-depth uh, makeup tutorial or anything like that. It's just really quickly showing you how I get ready um, when I'm going somewhere, although I'm not really going anywhere today, but I am shooting a couple of videos. So I figured, you know what, let's bring you along. Now I am not a makeup artist, okay? so. You know, I'm not bomb like that, but you know, I do what I do for me. But before we hop into the video, I do want to thank Yod Watches. I do believe I'm pronouncing that right. Of course, I'm going to have the name right here. I do want to thank them for um, sending me this bomb watch you're going to see in a minute. All right, so here's the box that it was shipped in. And on the box, it had the word fragile, which I like because it lets the shipping company know not to just throw it around while it's being shipped. But here I am just opening the box and bam, you have this beautiful wooden box inside. I'm a stickler for packaging, so I love when companies give you great detailing on their packaging now this company is known for their wood watches yes their watches are made of real wood like the one i'm about to show you here as soon as i can open the box <laughs> and bam look at it isn't she a beauty oh man this watch is so beautiful so timeless i am in love with this watch it's black and it has the gold detailing inside for the face of the watch and i am in love and it was on this nice little pillow which is so perfect um and this watch is really bomb like I think it's a great unisex watch. Um, I will have the name of the watch, which series is from, right below on the screen. And here I am trying on the watch, okay? And she is just beautiful. I am in love. Y'all see that? You know what? Let's get a little bit. All right, so here it is closer up. I did flip the image because I had it on the other way and I wanted you to see the word yord. But here it is. It is so beautiful. I think this is a really classy watch. You might not even tell that it's wood. Um, so yeah, but they have so many cute little watches on there. I definitely am going to get a lot of use out of this watch. So don't be surprised if you see it very often. <laughs> This watch is so, so bomb. I am loving it. The only thing is, I will say, um, I measured wrong, okay? Because obviously, I know what I was doing, because I'm... <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think I measured a little bit wrong, so the watch is just a little bit big on me. But that's all right. I can get it taken to the shop and get it fixed. I mean, it, it won't slide off anything. It's not loose like that but um i just like it a little bit tighter on my wrist but hey so make sure you measure properly they do give you instructions on how to measure obviously i didn't follow them right of course <laughs> but the thing that i'm loving the most is that yod has agreed to give one of you yes one of you my lovely subscribers aka my family one of you a watch for yourself yes they will be having a giveaway mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. will you be getting an e-gift to get your own watch okay so i'm gonna have all of that information listed down below in the information box there's gonna be a link that you can click on to enter okay so definitely make sure you check the information box down below okay and trust me they have a lot of different watches for you to choose from so definitely make sure you enter that giveaway okay and in the meantime i also have a coupon code i do believe let me just make sure i don't want to i don't want to throw no lies to you i don't want to throw no lies okay 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 i found it it looks like you will also be getting a 25 dollar coupon yes 25 dollar coupon okay for anybody who watches this video yes 25 dollars off your purchase with a free engraving on the watch okay so for ladies or gents whoever if you know your spouse or your moms or your pops or your cousin or your brother whoever you know that they like watches i'm telling you make sure you get them one of these watches these watches is hot fire all right i'm gonna have all that information links coupon codes all of that down below in the information box so make sure you check that out okay all right so enough of all that let's get into the video all right, so here I am coming to you fresh face, dancing and eating at the same time. I'm sorry, I was eating, I'm rude, but I was hungry, okay? Um, but yeah, so I'm taking off my glasses and my face is freshly washed, okay? And um, I'm just gonna show you the little mirror that I'm using. Although I really don't use that, I don't even know why I showed you that. <laughs> I actually used the mirror in my Tarte palette, which I'm gonna show you right here. I just like it because I can get up close with that mirror. So yeah, that's what I will be using. I'm so sorry about eating. <laughs> so rude um so yeah i was just showing you that my face is freshly washed and i did moisturize with my aveeno next up i like to take that mario but whatever his last name but 
I like to spray that on my face. Um, that's that rose water and what is it? Rose water and glycerin, I believe. I'm not sure. It'll be listed down below, but I like it. Next, I start with my eyebrows and I like the MAC Spike Pencil, okay? And I just go in and fill my eyebrows. Now, if you happen to see my mouth moving, I was talking to my brother. He did call me on the phone. So yeah, that's why you may see me move. So oops, I forgot to apply my Vaseline. I like to apply a little bit of Vaseline to my lips uh, because you know, nobody want crusty lips out here. All right, so after I apply my eyebrows, I like to clean them up with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in the color Medium Tawny. I think that's what it is. It'll be listed down below. And here I am, I'm just showing you my Queen Bee cup. I love that cup. All of them brushes are dirty. I need to clean my brushes so bad. Don't be like me. <laughs> and to apply my concealer, first I like to apply some concealer to the back of my hand. That's just the way I do it. So I also like to apply it with a small little um, angled brush. I don't know what brush this is. A lot of my brushes are no name brands, brushes that I've had for a long time. But I just, um, sorry, I like to apply that underneath my eyebrow like so. And then all I do is take this uh, blending brush that I got from Sephora a long time ago. I don't remember the number, but yeah, any brush you have, you can just uh, use that to blend out that concealer. Definitely make sure you blend, 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 okay? It is very important. You don't want to be looking crazy. And then I go in with this type of brush. I don't even know what it's called, but it has like a little brush on one side and then like a little comb on the other side. I just take the brush side and kind of just feather out my eyebrows a little bit. Uh, definitely don't like the corners of my eyebrows to look too dark. So I kind of just feather that out a little bit to kind of take off a little bit of the color and just make it blend a little better so it won't look so harsh. So now I'm going to go in with my Modern Ridden Sauce Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I love that palette. That is my go-to palette. Like if I only need one palette to travel with, it would be that palette. So here, um, the color I'm going to take is, I'm not sure what color that is. Uh, I think it's the burnt orange color. I'm going to have it across the screen if I'm wrong. And I just put that in my crease. All right, so then I like to take another blending brush, a clean one with no product on it, and I just use that to blend out the color even more so it won't look as harsh. All right, so then for my second color, I forgot what the color is called off the top of my head. Um, I'm gonna have it across the screen, of course, and here I am just dancing. I think it was Future Mask Off. <laughs> And then I'll go back in with that same blending brush that I used uh, for the first uh, color to blend out. And I'll just take that and blend that out a little bit. And here I am, of course, just dancing a little bit more because the music was just moving me, of course, per usual. <laughs> and then next, we're gonna go in with another color and it is this dark brown color here. I wanted it a little bit darker, so yeah. I like to take a brown or you could take black, but yeah, brown is a little less harsher than black. So I just kind of took that on my outer V, not all the way deep into the crease, just kind of stuck it on the outer V. And then I went back in with that same blending brush that I've been using to blend out my colors. I just took that and just blended it out a little. Okay, so here I'm just gonna apply some black eyeliner. Now this is just some cheap black eyeliner that I got from the beauty supply store. Um, and of course I'm out of focus, but I suck at applying eyeliner like all these years I've been doing my makeup and I still suck. I just don't know. It just doesn't work for me. Some days is I, most days is nah. But yeah, all I'm doing is just applying some eyeliner to the top of my um, eyes, okay? So that's all you need to do and uh, we'll be back. <laughs> All right, so I applied the rest of my eyeliner off camera, but yeah, here I'm just pointing to dark spots that I have that I'm going to conceal first with some orange concealer. And the one I'm using is from LA Girl, very popular product. Um, I don't do it often, but I did it today just cause. <laughs> but yeah, I have some dark spots, so I like to conceal that first. The orange is supposed to help correct some of that darkness. And then I just go in and buff that out with my good old beauty blender, okay? You just use that. I use that for everything as far as my foundation, concealer, it's concerned. But yeah, I buffed that out. Um, I did realize that I wanted to apply some underneath my eyes, so I did that as well and just buffed it out with the beauty blender. So 
So here I'm just showing you my Smashbox primer. Um, usually I would use this before I put on my concealer, my orange concealer, but I forgot and whatever. So instead I'm just going to uh, pile on my foundation. And I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. That is one of my favorite drugstore foundations. So I apply that on the back of my hand, which they had a pump, but they don't. Oh well. Um, and yeah, I just take my beauty blender and I just dab it in there and just dab it all over my face. <laughs> I do want to say be careful when you get to the eyebrows, kind of just trace above the eyebrow with the foundation. I use the tip of the beauty blender, um, but yeah. And then to conceal, I'm just going to go back in with that Wet n Wild uh, Photo Focus Concealer in Medium Tawny. And I'm just fixing my shirt here, but um, yeah, I go in, I put that underneath my eyes, a little bit on the bridge of my nose. Um, a little underneath my chin and a little on my forehead and then what I'm going to do is just go in with my beauty blender and blend all of that out then in order to set that I'm going to use my uh, Laura Mercier Mercier, whatever uh, I'm gonna use that translucent powder my go-to favorite and I just use this type of brush I don't even know what it's called um, but I just said that underneath my eyes I just like to pull out a little bit um, into the top okay be careful because of course I spilled some on me <laughs> but yeah I like to pull that in the top just a little bit and I'll put the brush in and just pack that underneath my eyes So here I just remember that I have makeup all on the back of my hand and I'm infamous for forgetting that I have makeup on the back of my hand. So what you want to do is get you some makeup wipes. I'm using my favorite ones, which is my Neutrogena makeup wipes. I love these wipes. Those are my go-to. Um, but just take you a wipe and make sure you wipe off the back of your hand or you're going to have people asking you all day what's going on with your hands. Not good. <laughs> So to contour, I'm just going to take this 3D Face Creator, I believe that's what it's called. It's by Ruby Kisses, a very inexpensive, cheap product that I love. It's like a cream contour that I like to use first. Um, and I don't know what level this is, I think it's level 15. I just like to go into both colors and take a smaller uh, brush, similar to the one I used to put the powder underneath my eyes and I just contour a little bit. I contour on my cheeks along uh, for my forehead and a little bit under my chin. Then before I move on to my um, powder contour, I like to take my Real Techniques powder brush. Love this brush. It's so soft and fluffy. I uh, love it. And I like to just uh, blend out that, co not concealer, the powder that I put underneath my concealer parts. I like to make sure I buff out that excess powder. You don't want to look ghostly out here. It's happened to me numerous times, okay? So just be careful. Next, I just like to apply a powder contour on top of that. So I take the True Complexions Contour Palette in the color light to medium, and I use a angled brush. I'm just using some regular angle brush that I have, like so, and I apply that um, to my cheeks and a little underneath my chin, not really my forehead. Once I was, once that is applied, I like to go in with my Real Techniques brush, the powder brush that I use for uh, to buff away the powder, and I use that to buff it out. So next, I'm gonna just apply my blush, and I'm using this big puffy powder brush. I don't know who's it by. And I'm using NARS Orgasm. It's one of my favorite brush brushes. Blushes, to this day, I cannot speak, oh my gosh. Um, yeah, I use that brush, and I just apply it on my cheeks, and then I go back in with my Real Techniques powder brush and kinda just buff that out so I won't look clownish. <laughs> And 
And then to highlight, I'm going to use my Becca uh, Jaclyn Hill one. As you can see, it is toe up and a flow up. It keeps dropping. This is my second one that's dropped. But of course, I'm not getting rid of it. But I forgot what color it is. Oh, Champagne Pop. Yes, one of my favorite highlighters. I use that all the time. I just apply that with a little fan brush, blush. <sighs> I'm telling you, I cannot talk right now. Like, I'm so tired. Anyway, um, yeah, I just apply it with a fan brush. And yeah, I don't like, like a heavy um highlight i don't do that much like other people so yeah just a nice little subtle sheen here and there you know what i'm saying so i apply that to the tops of my cheeks and a little across my nose and maybe a little bit across my mouth so at this point uh my camera was about to die so of course i was just showing you i was going to apply some eyeliner underneath my eye off camera and along with some eyelashes uh these are the i think they are dell um demi wispies I believe um, it was in the wrong box of course but yeah I'm gonna apply that off of camera and come right back I gotta stop singing <laughs> all right so we're back with the lashes and the eyeliner underneath I also applied a little bit of brown that brown that we use in a modern renaissance palette I used that along with this little brush here um, and I applied it in my lower lash line well I don't know if you call it the lower lash line, but I applied it underneath my eye just to give it a little smoked out effect at the bottom. And then to complete my look, I like to apply a nice little frosty color in the inner tear duct of my eye. Per usual, I do this with every look. I don't know why, I'm obsessed. <laughs> but I like to apply it, so I'm just going back into my Modern Renaissance palette and using that color just to apply it in my inner tear duct and the brush I'm using is just some brush I forgot where I got this from of course and I just like to apply that in my inner tear duct <laughs> And to just top it off, I applied my lipstick off camera because I wasn't sure what color I wanted. But I applied this Kat Von D color. I'm not exactly sure what it is right now, but of course it'll be on the screen. And it is this beautiful purple that I am loving right now. So yeah, I applied that just to complete the look. And then to complete my look, I make sure I set all of that in with a setting spray. And I'm using the Scandinavia setting spray. Um, it's a good spray to use to make sure you lock in all of that makeup so it doesn't really budge throughout the day. Um, so yeah, I'm looking to the side because I have my fan on. But yeah, just make sure you spray a couple of pumps to make sure your makeup stays good. And that is the completed look, y'all. All right, I'm beautiful people. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoy it. Like I said, don't forget about the giveaway. Okay, it's only going to last for a certain amount of time. Um, I will have all that information down below when the contest ends. Okay, so like I said, look down below in the information box. Okay, hit that link, all that good stuff. And in the meantime, if you're new here, I hope you hit that subscribe button. Because I would love to have you. Okay, enough of all that. Um, yeah, so until my next video, I hope you guys stay beautiful, stay blessed, and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.